In this week's Parsha, Parsha B'Shalach, we learn about the Jews collecting riches from the Mitzrayim, leaving Egypt to create Yamsuf and the beginning of the Jewish people's experience in the desert. Towards the beginning of the Parsha, in Shemot Parakid Gimel Pasuk Yotet, we read the following. Ve'ikach Moshe atatmo Yosef imo, ki ashbea hishbea at b'nei Yisrael emor, pekod yifkod, elokim etchem ve'alitem etatzmi mizet itchem. Moshe took Joseph's wounds with him, for he, Joseph, had adjured the sons of Israel, saying, God will surely remember you, and you shall bring up my bones from here with you. One commonly asked question is where Moshe got Joseph's bones from. Where was he buried initially? In Gemara Sota, Daf Yoram and Aleph, there's a debate on the an- uh, there is a debate on the answer to this question. One side said that it was in the crypt where the kings of Egypt are commonly buried, and the other says the Nile River. Why, though, is there even a debate? Yosef was a very prominent figure in the Egyptian world, and it would follow that his burial site would be well known. The answer to this question is that the true location doesn't actually matter. The debate represents a much bigger discussion. The Jewish people have been referred to as Yosef because, as Rashi explains, Yosef provided for them for th- through the years of the famine, and because they owe their survival to him, they are called by his name. As Yosef is directly connected to the survival of the Jewish people, this debate is really a mashal for the source of the strength that keeps the Jewish people alive. The first opinion, that Yosef was buried in the crypts of the king, represents the idea that the Jewish people have survived because of our connections. The secular governments recognize our intelligence and realize that we can pos- positively contribute to their society. Then, Jews get important roles in government that ensure the survival of the Jewish people. The second opinion, that Yosef is buried in the Nile, represents the idea that the Jewish people's survival comes from the facts that we are different. The Nile is a body of water, a separate entity from the land of Egypt. This represents the Jews being different in every society we are a part of. This separation has allowed us to keep our culture thriving and ensure our survival. In reality, we see some of both of these ideas in life. While we do hold positions and have connections to many government and other governments and other important leadership throughout the world, and that does help our survival, we also maintain a degree of separateness and individuality that reminds us that we're special and must keep our culture alive to survive. Yosef embodied this balance as the second to the king and also a proud Jew, and from him and his wounds we can learn this important lesson. Thank you and Shabbat Shalom.